Hi, this is Kerry from Fresh Labs, and in this video, I'm going through a big question we get in in 2020, which is how do I get Amazon API keys? And before, maybe two, three, four years ago, it was a lot easier than it is now, but it's still not hard, and I'll show you how to do it. And I'm going to talk a little bit first about what exactly is the Amazon API and what is Amazon Associates that you can see on the screen. So this is Amazon Associates is the program for promoting Amazon's products or any product which is on Amazon. You can get up to 10% in advertising fees, which means 10% in commission for any product you refer to Amazon and any customer you refer to that product. So this is a system that we build our products around or have built some of our products around Fresh Store, One is on. Um, because it's a great way to, to start making money online. It's a great way to monetize your blog, your audience, your website, whatever it might be. It's one of the oldest affiliate programs on the internet and it's probably the biggest one um, because there's so many products on Amazon. They, they have everything and everybody knows Amazon. Everybody trusts them. So you're going to get high conversion rates. So that's a little bit about what it is. And then let's go into what is the Amazon API. So the Amazon API lets you get access to the products on Amazon, the images, the content and information, the price, links to the products. And you can do this in an automatic way using some coding, using a tool, using software. So that's what we have built our products around. Fresh Store One is on. We built them around the Amazon API. Now, Amazon doesn't let anybody just access the API uh, or their database of products. They're more protective over it now than they used to be because of various reasons, people spamming, uh, people trying to uh, do things like cookie stuffing and using the content from the Amazon API for other reasons. Understandably and quite frustratingly, Amazon have restricted access to it in various ways. So it's now a little bit harder to get those Amazon API keys that you need. Now, before I dive into this, I should say, that any of our members of Fresh Store Instant or Wanazon can use our API keys to get started. So you don't have to go through this process. If you're struggling to get API keys and you're one of our members, then you get access to our keys, no problem at all. And you can use that to build up some sales and then use your own API keys. So a little tip there, but if you wanna get your own API keys, this is how you do it. Um, so first things first, I'm gonna go through and join the Amazon Associates program. I haven't done this for a long time because I've had an account for a long time. So I'm doing this live. I'm just gonna see what happens. Um, I'm gonna go through it with you and give you some tips along the way. So first things first, this is on affiliate program, affiliate-program.amazon.com. That's where you find this or just Google Amazon Associates. In the top right hand corner, you have the locale. So these are basically all the different Amazon websites that allow you to uh, promote their products. The main one being the United States, but we also have the United Kingdom quite big. Germany is very big because it provides to a lot of countries nearby and some upcoming ones like United Arab Emirates, uh, Netherlands is new, Singapore is new. Basically, um, yeah, you can join any or all of these. However, to start with, just join the one that you're most likely to promote first. And usually for me, that's the United States. <clears throat> it's a big audience. I know, I know how to uh, build websites for that audience and so on and so forth. I would recommend the same unless you're in a specific country. Now, keep in mind, it doesn't matter which one you join and it doesn't matter where you live in the world, you can still get paid. Uh, so if you join the, the German one and you live in Singapore, it's okay, you can get the money transferred to you directly to a bank account, or you can get Amazon gift cards. The specific options for the different locales, I'm not 100% sure about, but there's always gonna be a way you can get the money out. You don't have to be a member of that country. Okay, so I'm gonna join the United States. So I'm gonna leave it as that as a default. Click on join now. Let's go through these options together. Um, I'm gonna create a new Amazon account here. Now keep in mind that, yeah, I am uh, doing this live. So <laughs> I'm gonna use an email address I haven't used before. Um, I think this one will work. And we'll generate a password. 
I'm going to be blowing out some of this information because it's pre-populating some things uh, that I just don't want to be out there. So I'm using a password and it's sending that to my email. So I'm going to go ahead and approve that via the email. So there it is. And you just get a one-time code via email. P paste that in, away you go. And let's have a look at the next steps. Okay, so first thing they're asking is, who do we pay it to? So the only required field is your name. I would only worry about that for now. Oh no, actually they want your address as well. So I'm gonna fill that out. Um, and they want my phone number also. So I'm just gonna change this information because I already have an account and I don't want them to do something because um, I have duplicate accounts. So I'm just setting this up as a dummy account for now. So, okay, that's all fine. Click on next. Um, suggesting an address. Okay, we'll go ahead. Now this is the important thing that you need to get right in your application to the Amazon Associates program. And that is your website. So you do need to have first things first, a website which has content, doesn't look spammy, doesn't have a lot of adverts and has the key pages. So this website, I will submit, but I will say the problem with this one is I have adverts turned on at the moment, as you can see. I've got Google AdSense on here. I've got Google AdSense on there. I would turn that off if you have it on yours, just for the application process. Uh, because who knows what Amazon are looking for and who knows what that specific person is looking for. So we have to try and be as perfect as poss possible. Actually, this website I'm not going to use. I don't think I've set this one up properly. Okay, I'll use a different one as an example. This one is better. Um, the reason why this one is better is because I also have a privacy policy, I have a terms of use, I have a contact us page, I have an about us page, and I have this cookie consent here also. So it looks professional. It's ticking all the boxes. It's got an about page. It's got all the right things. There's no adverts on it. And it has just pure content. So it has content about dolphins, obviously. Um, it's got comments on there. So it looks like an active website. There's nothing unusual on here um, that, that screams spam or, or anything like that. So this is the kind of website you need. Now, if you don't have a website like this, you can set one up. Um, maybe for free using wordpress.com and using a subdomain of WordPress. It is gonna be better if you have your own domain name and you have a website like this. The content should ideally be unique, but I have heard of people submitting websites which have duplicate content, which they copied from somewhere else. So for the purposes of opening your account, I would create a basic website with good content, with privacy policy, contact source, terms of use, and cookie consent form, that kind of thing just like you see on the screen here. So I'm gonna use this uh, URL. I'm gonna put it in here, click add, and click on next. So, okay. Any of these directed at children under 13, we can say no to that. And away we go. So we need to just have an ID. So we're gonna say something like dolphins. We love dolphins just to match that. Um, what are your websites or mobile apps about? Uh, we write articles about the conservation um, and um, awareness of dolphins in the wild. So, you know, something that just gives a purpose to your website and, you know, it's not about advertising, it's not about selling, it's about providing content. So we choose a topic. So we're going to go for education as one topic and there's another topic, um, something like nature or world or what have we got? Nothing seems to really apply. So we'll go for just other. What type of Amazon items do you intend to list? So we can say books would be a good one. Uh, clothing like t-shirts, um, movies, music and games. And um, what are your what type are your websites or mobile apps? So it's a blog. And another type is a content or niche website. That would be fine. How do you drive traffic? We're gonna say uh, SEO um, and social networks. 
and we'll leave it at that. How do you utilize your websites and apps to generate income? Um, gonna say Amazon Associates is the only way I monetize my site. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. How do you usually build links? Um, blog editor. How many total unique visitors do your websites get a month? Just put it in the middle range, 5,000 to 50,000. What is your primary reason for joining? Um, to get rich content for my site, to monetize my site. And how do you, do you hear about us? Uh, we can just say online search, doesn't really matter. So we'll put this capture in DXG. And we're gonna agree that we've read this. It is well worth reading this, um, even though it's long and complicated, but it's worth skimming over and getting a good idea of what they do and what they don't like. Go to finish. Okay, so thank you for applying. Um, they're gonna give you full access to the Associate Central 24 hours a day, and you have 180 days to make sales. So they're, they're gonna review this in the meantime. So you're gonna be able to actually access the Associates account, but then after, if they review it and they find something they don't like, they'll close it down and they'll send you an email. So that's why it's important to get it all right in the first instance. They might also, if they close it down, they might send an email and say, um, we need more information or can you provide another website or something like that. They might give you a chance to, to alter the application, but it's better if you can get it right the first time. So like I said about the website, this is the most important thing that they're gonna look at. And keep in mind, it's somebody at Amazon that may or may not have experience with this. They're gonna take a bit of an overview look at it. They're gonna tick some boxes and say, is there, a, is there a contact page? Is there a terms of use page? So on and so forth. I've actually got two contact pages there. Um, is there a cookie thing? Is there any adverts on there? They're gonna have a look at some key things and they're gonna make a snap decision. So don't give them any excuse to reject your application. Okay, so enter your payment and tax information. We can say later. And okay, so there we go. So you're now inside the Amazon Associates area. Um, just, you know, you can go through that if you want, but I'm just going to get started. Um, some warnings come up here, specific to your account and the advertising API. Don't worry about them. You'll see your reports down here. And what we actually want is the API keys. That's what this video was all about. So we've created our Amazon Associates account. If you already have an Associates account, you can obviously start from here. And it's this section here under tools that we're looking for product advertising API. And it's gonna say here, to request for access to the product advertising API, you must have completed three qualifying sales in 180 days, have an approved associate account. So they haven't actually approved this account yet. They're gonna have a look at everything that we put into the um, application first and comply with the associates program operating agreement. So that's something else that they're gonna um, probably put a tick next to you once they've approved the associate account. So we can't get it straight away. The big thing is we have to get the approval of the account and we have to get three qualifying sales. So how do we do that? So let's go through some ideas of how we can make the three sales. All we've got to do is wait for the approval of the account. But to get three sales, we can start using the, the default tools like the product links inside here to create manual links, to put them on our blog, on our website, on our social page, and to try and generate some sales. So I won't go into too much detail on how to do that because it's getting a little bit towards kind of promoting and and actually how we make, we make sales with Amazon Associates. What I will say is don't be doing anything too spammy at this stage. Um, don't be doing anything that is um, going to cause a red flag with Amazon. And also make sure you're doing it underneath the website that you have applied to the Amazon Associates account with, in this case, the Wheel of Dolphins. I would be putting links on my blog posts. I would be putting them on my social pages. I would be um, updating Facebook page, the Facebook page with links and things like that to get those three sales within 180 days. Now, another strategy for doing that is to ask your friends, your family, people you know, people you know online to use your link for three sales just to get yourself across the line. It's possible to do it. I know people who've done it. However, Amazon are very smart with how they match people to together in terms of friends and family. 
and they will definitely catch you if you do it more than once with the same person. So if you're gonna use that method, ask one person one time to buy one product or maybe two products and ask a completely different person to buy one or two products and don't ask those people again because they will it will then tie it back. And if you're gonna do that, make sure you put a link to the product that you want them to buy inside your blog, get them to go to your blog, your website, click on that link and then buy instead of giving them a direct link to Amazon. Um, in terms of generating the links, you can do it using, uh, okay, this section that I clicked into before, we can search for say, I'm not sure, a dolphin t-shirt. And there we go, we've got the dolphin products, click on get link. And this will create the tagged link that you need to generate a sale. So you can highlight, you can get the HTML for it here, which will actually embed the product like that, or you can get a text only link and you can make it a short link like that. You can give that to somebody, sorry, I mean, put that into a blog post and link a bit of text in your blog post to that link, get the person to go on and click that link, buy the product. Um, yeah, but basically, if you, if you do that method of where you're asking your friends and family, you are running a risk. It is a way to get past it. Just be very, very careful with it and only do it to get those first three sales to get yourself over the line and then build a proper strategy for making sales on the Amazon affiliate program. If you wanna do it the legitimate way, like I said, make sure you have an audience, build up your Facebook page, build up your, your Twitter account um, as we have a look in, in other videos on this channel and um, yeah, build up your Instagram account, add some good content to your website, follow that path and make sure people are buying from your website or from your social pages and generate the sales that way. And yeah, that's a great way to, to get started. Now that is the only way you can get the Amazon API keys in this time in 2020 as I record this video. However, as I said at the start of the video, for anyone who is a fresh store customer member, or a Wanazon member, you get access to our API keys, which we load with sales all the time so they're, they're ready to use. You can get access to those. You can use those to make your product uh, fresh store work or Wanazon work so you can add products, so you can get a head start um, on making sales. Now, once you've made sales using those keys, you can then apply for your own keys within Amazon Associates and you can replace them with uh, replace ours with them and you can build a reputation on your keys. So that's how we recommend to do it. Now keep in mind as well, even if you use our API keys, your, your sales still get credited to your account. They don't get credited to our account, they get credited to yours. And that means that uh, obviously you keep the commissions and the money that comes in, but also it builds up the reputation on your Amazon Associates account and it means you can get API keys for yourself. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Um, and please, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I wanted to show you how to get API keys start to start, from start to finish. And I wanted to show you how to create your Amazon Associates account. Hopefully that was useful for you. And in terms of strategy for actually making sales, please check out the rest of this channel. I didn't want to go into too much detail in this video. Um, or if there's a particular strategy you want to know about, let me know in the comments, I will update. Subscribe to this video as well. I'll have lots more good stuff coming and thank you for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.